and out than a dry river rat. What's the matter? It's the rain. It's been raining on and off all morning. Our parade is ruined. And I was the leader. Oh, you can't play parade in the rain. You can't do anything in the rain. Rain is just so... so wet. And boring. Boring? Hmm. Well, you know, I've been to a place where it rains a lot more than it does here. And I don't think it's boring at all. Really? Not boring. What place is that, Mama? Would you like to see? You mean one of your movies, Mama? That's right. Yay! <laughs> movie time. It's movie time. Light it up. Here we go, the wettest, wildest place on earth. This is a rainforest. Oh, a rainforest is a forest where it rains a lot. <laughs> right as rain, Carla. You find rainforests in lots of different places. One of the largest rainforests is in the Amazon River Basin of South America. Wow, that's a really big forest. Does it rain there all the time? Not all the time. Just like anywhere else, certain times of the year are rainier than others. But the rainforest does get a lot more rain than the savanna. Over six feet of rain a year. That would be all the way up to here. Oh, that's a lot of rain. Who'd want to live in a place like that? <laughs> lots and lots of animals live in the rainforest. It's an amazing place, full of so many different kinds of animals that we don't even know all of them. There are loads of birds. Those birds look like rainbows. Yes, those pretty feathered friends are macaws, enjoying a sunny day. And this beautiful blue macaw is one of the biggest parrots in the world. Really? It's true. But there are more than birds in the rainforest. Most of the animals in the rainforest are insects. You mean creepy, crawly things? Mm, some crawl, but not all. A lot of them fly, too. Wow, those are pretty, Mama. They are. Butterflies love to drink the nectar from all the flowers and the fruits that grow in the rainforest. I expect there's a lot of growing with all that rain. Yes. In fact, the rain in the rainforest helps the trees to grow so much and so close together that they form a network of branches where even more animals live. Like a tree house? That's right, Maxie. It's like a whole group of tree houses. It's called a canopy. 
some animals live high up in the canopy almost full time, like the three-toed sloth. She's hanging upside down. That's right, Bo. Sloths spend their lives hanging in trees, eating leaves and moving very slowly. I bet she'd be really good at hide and seek. She almost looks like she's part of the tree. <laughs> yes, she's moving really slow and has green algae growing on her fur that helps her blend in with the leaves around her. Pretty sneaky. <laughs> Oh, there's my old friend, Tammy the Tapir. She lives down on the forest floor. She's a little shy, always diving into muddy pools. No wonder she's so dirty. Then there's this creature. Oh, he looks like me. He does. That's a jaguar. Jaguars and cheetahs are both cats, aren't they? Right. Oh, he must have an itchy snout. <laughs> yes, I get that sometimes. <laughs> I get all itchy just watching. So you see, the rainforest is full to the brim with all kinds of animals. Furry, feathered, buggy and beautiful. So, do you three still think rain is boring? Not in a rainforest. It may be wet, but it certainly is wild with all those animals. Mm, my favourites were those rainbow-coloured birds, the macaws. My favourite is the jaguar. <laughs> oh, no. It's raining again. Over here, kids, quick. That's canopy, Max. Oh, right. The rainforest seemed really great, but I still don't know what we're going to do on such a rainy day. We could hang upside down in a tree all day like sloths. No, we'd just get headaches. But that is a good idea. What is? Well, it rains in the rainforest a lot and we know it's not boring. So we just need to find out what the animals in the rainforest do when it rains. Great! Good idea! In the rainforest, life goes on pretty much the same, rain or shine. Let me show you. I think it stopped raining. See? Look at these busy bees. <laughs> I mean ants. He's cutting right through that leaf. That's how these leaf cutter ants got their name. They search all over the rainforest for leaves, and then they cut them into pieces they can carry back to their home underground. Do they eat the leaves? Not exactly. The ants chew up the leaves and use them to grow their own food, fungus. Do they really grow their own food? Yes, and they're hard at work growing their food, whether it's raining or not. So the animals in the rainforest work all the time? Some do, and others spend a lot of time playing, like these squirrel monkeys. Listen to them! Yes, squirrel monkeys like to bark, Purr, scream, peep, and squawk. Whoa! He can swing! He's using his tail like an arm! <laughs> that looks like fun! Squirrel monkeys are so good at running, jumping, and swinging in the trees, they spend almost all of their time up in the canopy. Allow me to introduce my friend, Yvette the Toucan. Oh, look at her beak! How does she hold it up? It looks so big and hairy. That's called the toucan's bill. And even though it's very big, it's really not very heavy at all. Good, because if it was, she'd fall over. Toucans are one of the noisiest birds in the rainforest. And when Yvette starts singing, she keeps singing rain or shine. And you know, that reminds me of a song she taught me once. When the sky is dark and grey And the raindrops start to raise When the sun has gone away Feel the rain upon your face Don't run away and hide Follow me outside Come on, let's play! Splish and splash and slide and slip Outside in the rain Then find a bottle Take a dip There's no need to complain 
Cause the rain is fun for everyone. Enjoy. Come on, everybody. Splish and splash and slide and slip. Outside in the rain. Find a puddle, take a dip. There's no need to complain. Cause the rain is fun for everyone. Enjoy. Rain is fun for everyone. Rain is fun for everyone. Plenty to do, rain or shine. Especially when you're with your friends. Come on, everybody! Keep dancing those rainy day blues away. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>